Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. It is a saying that you love flavor first uh, before you love food. And you can ruin the food that you love uh, by cooking it with the wrong flavor. Uh, so, one of the most important tasks in cooking uh, is to cook the food with the flavor that you enjoy. And it is no accident in my fast cooking system, flavor chasing is the central attribute of the cooking system. A flu flavor chasing, you will constantly improve the flavor of the food that you enjoy. Uh, the other three attributes of the cooking system, that is advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking, uh, is to set up the condition for you to achieve the flavor that you love. Uh, one of the most significant challenge for the beginner's cook is to make their food taste good consistently, uh, as well as allowing them to make constant improvement. Uh, in order to achieve that, you need to have a system in how to flavor your dish. And first of all, it should be simplicity in design, and it should be able to give you reliable results. And then uh, it should save time on how you're going to execute it. Uh, this is important because it will allow you to make easy adjustments, uh, adapting to a wide variety of dishes, uh, and to able to make constant improvement. Uh, one of the best systems in achieving this set of goals for beginner cooks in stir frying uh, is the oyster sauce system, uh, which using oyster sauce as the primary seasoning agent, uh, being supported by other sauces, and this will creating flexibility in making changes and adapting to many different types of dishes. Uh, the popularity of oyster sauce in stir frying is undisputed, uh, being used all over the world, uh, making it probably one of the most well known sauce, and it continued from a long tradition in Asian cuisine, and now is spreading to other cuisine traditions. Oyster sauce originated in the southern parts of China about 200 years ago uh, by cooking down excess oyster harvest and combining it with soy sauce and other seasoning agents, uh, creating a rich tasting sauce uh, to enhance the natural flavor of fish, meat, and vegetable dishes in stir frying. Uh, there are recipes online uh, providing instructions on how to make your own oyster sauce, uh, following the ancient tradition and creating a homemade oyster sauce. Uh, today, the most popular brand of oyster sauce is by a company called Li Kang Ki, uh, being the originator of oyster sauce, headquartered in Hong Kong, and producing different versions of oyster sauce for the general public. Uh, the most popular version of oyster sauce produced by Li Kang Ki uh, is known as the Panda Bear Oyster Sauce, uh, because it has a panda bear on its label being reasonably priced and also has excellent flavor. The popularity of oyster sauce for stir frying is unparalleled, providing the most efficient way to flavor any stir fried dishes, offering great flexibility for a wide variety of food ingredients, and allowing for quick and easy adjustment, creating flavors are universally enjoyed. Uh, the signature flavor in oyster sauce is the umami flavor, uh, which is discovered by a Japanese scientist in the early part of the 20th century. Uh, umami flavor is one of the five basic tastes, uh, which also include bitter, sweet, sour, and salty tastes. Uh, the umami flavor in the oyster sauce uh, comes from oyster extract and soy sauce, are both being rich in umami, are giving oyster sauce its signature flavor, savory and salty, a perfect sauce to enhance the natural flavor of any food ingredients without overpowering the dish when used in judicial amount. The translation of the Japanese term umami to English is savory, 
and the key ingredient for umami is a naturally occurring amino acid known as monosodium glutamate or MSG. A present in a wide variety of food ingredients in various amounts. Uh, oysters, uh, as well as other seafood, uh, contain MSG in abundance, uh, making it perfect for creating a sauce rich in umami flavor and becoming a staple uh, for seasoning dishes during stir frying, as well as uh, in many other types of cuisines. Uh, the universal acceptance of uh, oyster sauce is due to its non-intrusive nature. Its intention is to enhance the natural flavor of the ingredients uh, by enhancing the umami flavor of the dish. Uh, unlike uh, spicy sauce or sweet and sour sauce that tend to be overpowering and uh, mask the natural flavor of the ingredients. Uh, the best way for you to learn about the flavor of the oyster sauce is to put a small dab at the tip of your tongue, uh, not too much, uh, just enough as you will experience it when it is mixing with other ingredients in a dish. Uh, oyster sauce is probably one of the most versatile sauce. Uh, it is capable of enhancing the flavor of a dish, particularly you want to augmenting the natural flavor of the ingredients. For this reason, oyster sauce is great for seasoning dishes that with delicate flavor. Uh, in the fast cooking system where flavor chasing is the key attribute of the system, uh, oyster sauce is perfect uh, for experimenting different flavors that you would like in a dish. Uh, initially by adding a small amount and you do a taste test and you add more and gradually you will find the taste that you preferred. Uh, because oyster sauce has subtle flavor rather than overpowering the dish, it is perfect uh, in combining with other types of sauces. Uh, by varying the ratio between oyster sauces and other sauces, you can create a unique uh, flavor profile that you might have never known before. Oyster sauce is frequently used in combination of hoisin sauce uh, to create a dish with teriyaki flavor, uh, usually in a ratio of 2 tablespoon of oyster sauce to one tablespoon of hoisin sauce. Uh, this ratio works very well in the case for chicken or pork. However, I prefer a different ratio when it comes to salmon or vegetables. In this case, I prefer a 3 to 1 ratio, which is 3 parts of oyster sauce to 1 part of hoisin sauce. Uh, in addition to experiment oyster sauce with hoisin sauce. You can also try combinations of oyster sauce with other type of uh, sauces, uh, such as hot sauce, sweet and sour sauce, as well as other pre-made sauces. Again, by varying the ratios, you will discover that there are many different flavors you might not even know exist. Uh, this is the essence of flavor chasing uh, in my fast cooking system uh, because you will continue uh, to fine tune the flavor that you love and enjoy. And using the sauces to carry out this flavor chasing approach is the most efficient way uh, because you can make very rapid and small adjustments along the way as you cook. And pretty soon you will find that uh, the cooking that you have done is the best cooking because nobody else can cook for you and create the same type of flavor that you love and enjoy. And this is when home cooking becomes truly creative and fun. A flavor chasing is the centerpiece of the fast cooking system or other aspects which includes advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking are designed to make flavor chasing as efficient and as effective as possible, allow you to make quick modifications and adjustments depend on your preference as well as your ingredient availability. I post a video each day uh, to help you to achieve these home cooking goals, uh, to make home cooking feasible as part of your daily routines, because of your future health and well-being are uh, depending on home cooking and nutritional meals. If you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, so keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.